As crime sprees go, the one in our next story is not the worst we've heard of. In fact, we're not even sure it was a crime. Well, it was something an East Bay woman and her community wanted to make right. Garvin Thomas joins us now with their story in tonight's Bay Area Proud. Garvin. Janelle, Terry, you've heard of little free libraries. Maybe yeah, you've seen boxes. them in your yeah. neighborhoods. Exactly. They're boxes. They've been around for a few years. They're boxes outside people's homes stocked with books and a simple message. Take a book, share a book. Well, last week, someone didn't live up to half that bargain in Livermore. Good thing, though, there was a community of people willing to pick up the slack. On Merlot Lane in Livermore, there is a home with a library of books on the outside and a lover of them on the inside. Libby Mahalka has loved to read from the moment she knew how to read. A book can pretty much get you through anything. I mean, you can hide in a book. You can read a book and it transports you to a different place, which is the best thing of all. Yeah. Reading, Libby says, has always filled a big part of her soul. I just thought they were a brilliant idea. Which is why it hurt so much to recently discover her little free library empty. Cleaned out the whole library. Then we're talking, you can see how many books are in here. There's over 50 books. Somebody just took all of them. What's more, Libby soon discovered she wasn't alone. A neighbor's security camera caught two women emptying their library on the very same night. Now, technically, the books are free, so it wasn't necessarily stealing. Still. There's a moral thing here. Uh, like, you, you can do something, but it doesn't make it right. And, and this, this just isn't right. Frustrated, Libby posted about what happened and asked if anyone had extra books she could use to restock her library. Well, the answer was yes, and then some. These were all uh, donated by people. Libby ended up with so many books, she refilled not only her library. It's a cute library. But the others that were empty. And then spent the past weekend traveling all over Livermore, restocking. A little romance and the but one or two action books. And reorganizing. Well, that's nice. As many little libraries as she could. Treasure Island. Libby just thinks what a tragedy it would have been for little kids, like the ones who regularly visit her library, to come and find nothing in it to read. It's left. And how great it is then to have a community willing to help her write right. a different ending. I love that. Yeah. And of course, she loves the little library. She's going to go forward with it. The one change that Libby said is she's begun stamping her books with a little free library stamp and writing not for sale on them. Mm -hmm. She says that way somebody can't go resell the books was what she suspects the people in this case did with the ones they took from her library. All right. That's Garvin. too bad, but the community stepped up. Great story. Thanks. Uplifting. Thanks a lot.